क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन डैश इज अ कंडीशन ड्यू टू इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ अलनर साइड ऑफ पामर एपोन्यूरोसिस वॉट इज दिस कंडीशन कॉल्ड Now here you are seeing is the deformity which has been asked in the question. This deformity is called deputrans contracture. Now deputrans contracture, as you can see here, this image, it's a contracture of the hand. It usually develops over years, and in this condition, the layer of the tissues that lies under the skin of your palm, there actually is thickening of the tissue, which gradually develops into knots of tissues under the skin here you seeing is one of such knot eventually a thick cord that can pull one or more fingers into a bent position so you can see here there actually is development of such cords and this is happening due to thickening of the fibrous tissue beneath to the skin on the ulnar side of the hand uh, reaching to the little and the ring finger the affected fingers can't be straightened completely which can complicate everyday activities such as like when you place your hand in your pockets or you when you wear the gloves while shaking hands right so this can be a, a limiting factor in enjoying the freedom of your hands so deputrans contracture mainly affects two fingers furthest from the thumb and occurs most often in older men especially in the northern european population A number of treatments however are available to stop or the slow the progress of this disease or to relieve the symptoms we'll talk all about it as you can see here that the gradual thickening and tightening of the tissues under the skin on the inner side of the hand which gradually leads to formation of nodules especially below to the ring and the little finger and then those thickened tissues form those bands connecting to those nodules So this condition most often affects the fourth and the fifth digits, as you are seeing in the image. Over time, now a deputrans contracture can cause one or more of the fingers to stay bent towards the palm. Here you are seeing in this image, these fingers stay bent, and which might become a permanent deformity. Now this can complicate everyday activities. I've included multiple images for you to see them and get an idea how it happens. Here you can see that this finger has been so much bent that it has to be pulled by an external force, and you can also see this this nodule. It actually is formed at the junction of this metacarpophalangeal joint of the ring finger. There's a nodule being formed, and you can also find is a cord-like things being developed here. This another image here also you can see is a nodule being formed here. and this metacarpophalangeal joint or just in front of the proximal phalanx of the ring finger and this fibrous band is so prominent see this fibrous band which is so prominent and this is leading to a permanent flexion of this ring finger gradually it might also involve the flexion of the little finger now what actually is the cause for this what is the cause so actually speaking the cause is idiopathic doctors even don't know what actually is the cause for deputrans contracture because there is no evidence to support if it's from injuries or it's from any occupational hazard like involving vibrations to the hand an occupation which involves vibration to the hand or any such conditions there is no such known cause for this deformity now let's talk about the symptoms of this how will a patient present with what complaints so deputrans contractures as i taught you is typically slowly progressing disease over years and this continuation usually begins as a thickening of the skin on the palm of your hand on the ulnar bar or the ulnar side towards the ring and the little finger now as it progresses the skin on the palm might appear puckered or dimpled right in the initial stages and a firm lump of tissue can form on your palm this lump might be sensitive to touch or may be without any pain so in later stages of deputrans contraction what happens is that the cords of tissue form under the skin on your palm and can extend up to your fingers as these cords tighten right they start 
contracting so as these cord tighten your fingers might be pulled towards your palm and sometimes very severely the two fingers furthest from the thumb are most commonly affected though the middle finger also can be involved only rarely are the thumb and the index finger affected so deputant's contracture can occur in both the hands remember it can also be symmetrical though one hand is usually affected or is more severely affected as you can see that it can happen in both the hands here you can see is the folds can you appreciate these folds these are the puckering or the initial stages of these folds being formed here initially they develop as folds the puckering of the skin on the ulnar side towards the ring and the little finger now what are the risk factors for the development of this disease so one of the risk factors is the age deputant's contracture most commonly affects people above the age of 50 years and talking about sexual differences so men are more likely to develop this deputant's contracture and have more severe contractures than females ancestry has a role people from northern european descent are at a higher risk of the disease family history also has a role deputant's contracture often occurs in families and then what else can be the risk factors tobacco and alcohol use right so smoking is associated with an increased risk of deputant's contraction perhaps because of the microscopic changes within the blood vessels caused by smoking so alcohol intake has also been associated with deputants diabetes also the people with diabetes are reported to have an increased risk of deputants contraction now these are the different stages of deputants contracture as you can see in the images with the increasing severity of this disease there is increasing flexion of the digits the ring and the little finger towards the palmar surface and they become more rigid so in this initial stage you can see there is near about 45 degree bent in the ring finger this initial stage starts with the tissues beneath the skin begins to thicken forming small nodule gradually you can see that these tissue continues to thicken pulling fingers closer to the palm and the inclination the bending of the digits increases to near about 90 degrees further the flexion of the digits increases from 90 to 135 degrees and now you can see that cord is fully formed pulling fingers even closer the most severe stage is when the fingers are completely flexed reaching to about 180 degree of flexion now here you can see that the cord has become so tight that the fingers cannot be fully extended so gradually you know it initially starts from a nodule being formed by the fibrous tissue beneath to the skin on the other side and gradually there's a cord developed which keeps contracting and that causes the flexion of the digits and the flexion becomes so much severe and it becomes so rigid that it cannot be extended back and can lead to a permanent deformity which might hinder with your regular life activities here you can see how severe this deformity can lead to and how much distress it can cause in your regular life activities so the complications you're going to face with this deputants is that it difficult to perform certain functions using your hand since the thumb and the index finger are usually not affected so many people don't have much inconvenience or disability with their fine motor activities such as writing driving playing right but as deputants contracture progresses it can limit your ability to fully open your hand and grasp large objects or to get your hand into narrow spaces like bringing your hand inside and outside your pockets or the trousers, shaking hands. You must be thinking about the treatment for this, right? So the treatment depends on the severity. If required, it includes using a needle to break the tissue that's keeping the finger bent. Even enzymatic injections to soften the tissues are also available. So one of the modality is using a splint in the initial phases to prevent the contracture or to delay the contracture then medications of course i told you that uh, the enzymes like collagenase colostridium histolyticum this might help to soften the tissues medical procedure includes a needle upon neurotomy 
or surgically you can go for a partial fasciotomy like you can give an incision into this fascia relieving the stress relieving the contracture right or by simply removal of the tightened tissues from the hand to straighten out the fingers so i think i have taught you enough of the relevant facts about this deputrin's contraction this might help so what can we write here in question number 29 Deputrin's contracture is a condition due to inflammation of ulnar side of palmar aponeurosis.